with Amanda Pendleton for her thesis seminar. Um, most of you know Amanda. Um, I actually learned some things about her just preparing for this introduction, but I'm going to be sharing those with you. Particularly <laughs> like to welcome all the family members and friends that were able to come. It's quite, quite nice that everybody can be here for this special day. Now Amanda um, <coughs> came to the lab um, <laughs> and she um, worked on a project in the lab we know we, we call the, the uh, virus project, but she is a member of a Golgi lab. And here you can see, if we could blow this up, however, <laughs> and show you that there's some viruses assembling there, because that's the project that she actually worked on. And she's done a really great job in characterizing uh, several proteins of unknown function in this virus that we're interested in. She's going to tell you all about that. But also when she came to the lab, she already knew she was really interested in, in teaching. And this is something that she's really worked hard on. Every opportunity she could get, she took the opportunity to teach. And uh, she's going to really be a great teacher someday, as soon as she gets all of her other things done. And um, she's uh, go actually going to be teaching at a community college before she starts her uh, uh, postdoc in January. She's going to be teaching for this coming semester. And then she's going to University of Wisconsin at Madison to study a really um, interesting system of mutualism, which I didn't even know what that was, but apparently it's the uh, interaction between a bacterium, a nematode, and an insect. So I think this is really going to be an interesting system for her to share with her undergraduates someday. Now she's also been mentoring an undergrad this year. Uh, this is Lisa. And uh, unfortunately Lisa's in classes so she couldn't be here today. But I know Amanda's taught Lisa a lot of things. But one of the things she taught her, I just found out this past weekend. And that was, I, I was in the lab and Lisa was there. And I said, how's that experiment going? And she goes, I don't know yet. I'm afraid to look. It might not have worked. <laughs> Amanda would always wait a day or so to look at the result just in case it didn't work. So I'm glad Lisa could carry that on. <laughs> now, a few things about Amanda. She's got a great Aww. smile, and apparently she always had this smile, because you can see there, like she's, even as a kid she had this smile. And I have to thank her mother and her sister for helping me get some of these photographs. Um, she also is quite a character, and she does a lot of entertaining in the lab for us. This is a several shot of her uh, entertaining us in the lab, keeping us laughing. And um, I guess uh, there's a few other things about this. So she apparently was in entertaining type even as a child. I don't really know what she's doing here, but she's obviously had all her life been a good entertainer. Now the other thing I learned is she um, she likes to um, dress up. <laughs> now, I didn't really know how fancy she was. I didn't know how she could dress up at work, but you haven't seen much of this in the lab. <laughs> but rightfully so. It's kind of hard to wear dresses like these in the lab. <laughs> she does, she does like I like the costume. Right? Very nice, you two. Now, I learned that Amanda could have had many careers as a ballerina, a jazz dancer, a horsewoman, an actress, or a politician, <laughs> or a musician, or a beauty queen. But instead, she chose science. <laughs> now, it wasn't always easy working in the lab. In fact, one of the things that really bothered her a lot was the fact that it's very cold by her by her desk. And she um, would often have to wear this big heavy coat and sometimes even put the hood up. But usually then she was happy at her bench. Now just ignore these things. That was for some weird dress up lab thing. <laughs> put this, this uh, picture in about Amanda working at her bench because it probably uh, is one of the messier benches in my lab. <laughs> and she, that's because she has a lot of things going on all the time. <laughs> now overall, um, we're really proud of her, and we wish her the best. And we just hope that uh, all of you can join us after the seminar for a celebration across the street. <laughs>